Over the years, I've been in the gym with guys who've been fitter than me, stronger than me, faster than me, but because my boxing IQ was better than them, I could beat them up. And after watching this video, I'm gonna give you some great things that you can work on to improve your boxing IQ as well. A lot of people think it's a God-given talent. You've either got it or you haven't got it. That's false. You know, yes, people have got Ta more talent than other people, but the other people can still work on these things to improve them and be the best that they can be. So the first thing I would tell you to do to improve your boxing IQ is watch other fighters and watch what they do, watch world champions and break it down. I did a full video on Canelo Alvarez's knockouts, breaking down his techniques. You should definitely watch that one after this and you'll see what I mean. By just seeing what he does to have success and then try and do your version of that. Because these world champions are the ones who, you know, who are the best. Canelo Alvarez is one of the best boxing IQs in the world. Tyson Fury is another one. See what they do, break it down to the micro, break it down to the fine details and then learn about it, educate yourself and then do that. Because boxing is education. You need to be educated yourself. Don't just go to the gym and hit the heavy bag and try and get fitter and stronger and faster like these guys were who was better than me. That's what they would do. You've got to learn and educate and improve your knowledge about the sport of boxing. That's a big thing that you can do there. Now moving on to the next thing you can do is when you're in the gym, when you're sparring and you know you might think oh I might throw a jab at the body but if I throw that jab at the body, he's going to catch me with the overhand right. So I'm not going to throw that jab at the body. No, you've got to throw that jab at the body. You've got to try it. You've got to practice it. Because if you're not throwing that jab at the body, guess what? You're never going to get educated. I'm going to use that word, educated on the sweet science because you've never done it. You might have heard the quote, you miss a thousand shots that you don't take. The same with boxing. You miss a thousand punches that you don't throw. So you need to throw them punches to learn. Now let's say you do decide, all right, Tony said throw that jab at the body. You throw that bo jab at the body and you get caught with that overhand right. Now what? Oh, I'm not gonna throw that jab at the body again. It doesn't work. No, now you need to think about why did it not work? Why did he catch you with that right hand. Was it too slow? Did you telegraph it? Did you not put a feint behind it? Think about these things. And then next time, you're gonna throw the jab at the body again, put a feint in front of it. Put a jab the head in front of it. Try something different. And that right there will improve your boxing IQ slowly. But it's better to be going slowly this way than fast this way or slowly this way. You wanna be always going up this way. Yes, we wanna go fast like that, but if you're going slowly up, we're gonna go slowly up. You need to learn as you do it. And that's the big thing right here. Think about the why. Why did that not land? Why can I not do this? Why am I getting tired after three rounds? Think about all of this stuff and educate yourself on it. I guarantee you, your boxing IQ will go straight through the roof. And before I tell you one more thing you can do to improve your boxing IQ, I would love to hear from you on a text message, and the number is below here. Drop us a text, keep in touch, I send people videos now and then, personally, so it'll be great to hear from you. Okay, now let's get into the last thing that you can do to improve your boxing IQ. We've already said we need to watch these world champions. We need to throw the punches in the gym and then figure out why they didn't work. And the last thing you can do that will improve your boxing IQ is by improving your stamina in the gym so you can do more. The more training you can do in the gym, the better you're going to get. If you're getting tired after one round of sparring, how the hell do you think you're going to improve your boxing IQ. Make sure you up your training, get fit enough so you can do more in the gym that will help improve your boxing IQ. I hope you love this video and I'll see you on the next one. If you want to know how to build your stamina when you're boxing, click here next. This video will show you exactly what you need to know so you can last longer when you're boxing training. The longer you last, the better you're going to go. Click here and check this video out next.